Hi, it's Emma Nagel. So today I'm doing a review of the three new Baby Gut Glow liquid highlighters from Essence. So these just recently came out. I believe they might be like a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury liquid highlighters, but I'm not really familiar with that product. So I can't say for certain if these are dupes, but I got all three colors that Essence offer and I'm going to test them out today. I'm going to do a review and a wear test and I will leave on the screen right now how much they are. I don't remember off the top of my head, but they must be inexpensive since um, they are from Essence. And yeah, we shall see how they work. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And now without further ado, let's get right into it. So here we have the three different liquid highlighters. I'm going to use all three on my face so you can see what they look like. I'm going to use Sassy and Silk on my nose and cupid's bow, Breezy Bronze on my forehead and Rose and Cyan on my cheekbones. And the way these work is that you just pull off the cap and then you have a sponge tip applicator where you twist it and that allows the product to flow and you just squeeze it out and it comes out at the top. And it's actually a rather thick consistency it's not very liquid. The Baby Gut Blush liquid blushes from Essence are way more liquid. This one is a lot more thick and creamy. So anyway, this is Breezy Bronze. So I'm applying a little bit up here and a little bit over here. And I'm just gonna blend that out. I think these are a little bit like thick and hard to work with. It can look a little bit like thick and almost like foiled. A little bit like a foiled eyeshadow which is too heavy for a liquid highlighter for your face so it just added a little bit of bronze and glow I was already pretty dewy since I was not wearing any um, powder so now let's apply the rose and shine just on the cheekbones and I'm going to blend it out I think this is like a little bit dark when you look at it straight ahead it's casting kind of a dark shadow because it has quite a bit of pigment to it, but it is also very reflective. And again, this one is also very thick. It's almost a little bit hard to blend out. They set kind of fast. And finally, I'm using Sassy and Silk on my nose and Cupid's bow. And this one is the lightest one of the bunch. And it's probably also my favorite. So I just set a little bit right in the center of my forehead, not touching the highlight and then right underneath the eyes in like a little triangle. So also on the sides of the nose and just right here on the cheek and a little bit on the chin. So I didn't touch the nose highlight, um, the cupid's bow highlight or the cheek highlights or the forehead highlight as I said. So I just want to show you guys how the highlights look now that um, my face is set a little bit. So I think they look good, but I still think they look a bit heavy and cakey. But let me just finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. Okay, so I have all my makeup on now. So this is what the highlighters look like. I think they do look nice, but as I said, I do think they look a little bit heavy. And I feel like they are a little bit hard to blend. You have to blend them really fast and even then they can look a little bit patchy and like unblended. I can kind of see it here on my cheek. So I don't think these liquid highlighters are terrible, but they're not my favorite. I think they're also a bit too like glittery. They do give like a nice intense look, but in real life I feel like it's almost a bit too much. Like too much glitter, it's a little too unblended. My favorite is definitely um, the lightest color, Sassy and Silk. Why has this? My favorite is definitely this lightest color that I applied on my nose and my cupid's bow. The Sassy and Silk. I think that one just works the best for my skin tone. So yeah, I think if you're going for these highlighters, you have to find the one that's good for your skin tone. Because I feel like the other two are a bit too dark for me. And it's really hard to work around it. So yeah, I don't hate them, but I don't love them either. I definitely have smoother, more blendable highlighters, liquid highlighters in my collection. Okay, and I will also do a little wear test that I will insert now, just so we can see how these wear throughout the day. That's my review. Let me know what you think down below. And as always, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that is it. So I will see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye bye. It's